Today, we will discuss working of a fixed dome biogas plant. We will first see its different parts, then study its working, and then we will calculate quantity of slurry required for running a biogas plant. Dean Bandhu biogas plant is a type of fixed dome biogas plant. First, let's see this 3D model and then we can understand its 2D diagram and working in a better way. Dean Bandhu biogas plant consists of two hemispheres. This is the top hemisphere and this one bottom hemisphere. The bottom hemisphere and lower part of the top hemisphere is called digester. The upper part of top hemisphere is used as gas holder. You can also see outlet tank and inlet pipe in this diagram. This is a gas outlet through which we can utilize gas. The outlet opening is inside the 3D model from which slurry flows from digester to the outlet tank. Let us see some of the actual construction stages of biogas plant to comprehend the working of the biogas plant. In the first stage, foundation is constructed with the placement of inlet pipe and in this diagram, dome and outlet can be seen. If you see the outlet from the top, it looks like this. You can also see the completed dome with gas pipeline here in this diagram. Now let us see 2D diagram of Dean Bandhu biogas plant, which we will be using to study its working. Let's first compare 2D diagram with 3D model. The foundation and lower hemisphere are shown in black in 2D and 3D models. You can also identify top hemisphere in these two diagrams. Match shape of outlet in these diagrams also. The inlet pipe and gas pipeline are easy to locate in the diagram. Outlet opening is visible in 2D diagram but not in 3D. Mixing tank is not shown in 3D model. With these basics, we can now start to see the working of biogas plant. This is an empty biogas plant. You can also see empty outlet shown here. Initially, the digester is filled with uniform mixture of dung and water in one ratio one. That is 50% water and 50% kettle dung through the inlet pipe. The level of slurry should be up to the end of first step of outlet tank. You can see this level from the top of outlet. After a few days, gas will start forming. As the gas generates and accumulates in empty portion of the dome of the biogas plant, it presses down the slurry of the digester and displaces it into the outlet tank. The slurry level in the digester falls, whereas in the outlet tank, it starts rising with the formation of gas. The rise of slurry level can be seen in the outlet tank. This fall of slurry level in the digester and rise of slurry in the outlet chamber will continue till the slurry level in the digester reaches the upper end of outlet opening. Consider initial level of slurry in the digester and note the amount of fall in the digester. Similarly, there is rise in the outlet tank which is shown here. Consider the stage when the slurry level in the outlet tank is at outlet point. If we now add amount of fresh slurry which is required daily in the digester, the similar amount of slurry will go out of the outlet tank. The gas produced after the slurry level in the outlet tank reaches the outlet point, that gas will escape through the outlet chamber till the gas is not used. You can see there is small gap created in the outlet opening by gas pressure. Let's zoom in and see this. If you use the gas with the help of burner, 
then the slurry level in the outlet tank will start moving downwards whereas in the inlet tank it will start rising this is because of decreasing gas pressure when all the gas has been used slurry level in the outlet tank will be at its lowest level now again fresh kettle dung slurry is added and gas start forming and processes repeated it is important to know how much slurry is needed to start and how much is added daily in the biogas plant the amount of slurry depends upon size of biogas plant and retention size of biogas plant is referred to as the amount of gas produced per day that is 24 hours for example if 6 cubic meter per day is the size of biogas plant then the gas produced in 24 hours will be 6 meter cube retention time is the average length of time a substance stays in the digester you can watch the detailed video of retention time shown in the upper right corner as well as in the description let us study an example to calculate volume of slurry added daily in 6 cubic meter biogas plant 1 cubic meter biogas plant require kettle dung equal to 25 kg how do we know this this is done by conducting experiments and theoretically also you can calculate but that is beyond the scope of this video 6 meter cube biogas plant requires kettle dung 25 into 6 150 kg water added in one ratio one so we will be adding 150 kg of water so total weight of the slurry which is required daily in biogas plant will be 300 kg now how much of slurry is added at the start in a 6 cubic meter biogas plant total weight of slurry we have just calculated it is 300 kg retention time let's assume it is 40 days retention time can be calculated by the formula volume of digester by daily inflow rate you should see the video of retention time to understand the formula so weight of slurry added at the start is 300 kg per day into 40 days that will be 12000 kg and to find the volume you need density so density of the kettle dung is around 1100 kg per cubic meter which will give you around 11 cubic meter volume it is important to construct the biogas plant from trained mason only if you accidentally put more slurry into the biogas plant then its level inside the digester will rise if plant construction is not good and proper gap is not left between gas pipeline and the level of slurry then the slurry may block gas pipeline which can be dangerous for construction of biogas plant maximum pressure is kept 90 cm of water column to get intuitive feeling of pressure you can see the pressure video link given in the upper right corner as well as in the description why 90 cm of pressure is kept this is because brick and masonry dome construction can withstand 90 cm of water column pressure how is this much pressure created in the biogas plants it is this height again good construction is important for creating right amount of pressure 